Hello everyone. So today we are going to mod the Bloodborne in the Shard PS4. So let's get started. So first, first thing is like uh, we need to download the mods. So where can we find it? So the place where can we find it is Nexus Mods. So you can find different games mods here. But right now we are searching for Bloodborne. So you can go to Nexus Mods and search Bloodborne and you can start seeing the different different mods so the latest one we want is for the emulator so these are for the uh, like different things so we want for emulator for that I already have some names here so you can search with this name and then try to find out so first is Bloodborne reshade so you can click like this and you will find it here So I think this is not the correct one. Let me check it, uh, the different one. So we want for this guy. Yeah, so this is the correct one. So we can download it from here. We need to log in to download. Without logging in, you cannot download it. So that is one thing. So you can download this one and then go and download this other one. So here. So this one. So you can download this mod and then you can download Bloodborne Dynamics Shadows. So you can. So this was the one, Dynamic Shadows mod. So here you can download this one. Then you can uh, click on this guy's name from Soft Surf, and then you can get all the mods made by him. This one, this one, and these all. So whichever you want, you can try explore it and try to uh, find out like which one is working better for you. So these are the four. So I've downloaded all the fixes. So I will show you how to how to like uh, do the modding. First, open your all the mods that have been downloaded and extract them in their folders, and open your game folder. So I have this one here. So this is the main folder where we need to put the mods. DVD root underscore PS4. So right now I want to install the sounds. So all the game sounds. So I have downloaded the BB sound pack full English. So this is you can download from same Nexus mods and then copy control C and then go to the sound folder and yeah, control V and replace all. So I've already installed. So that's why I'm not going to replace. So that's how you install the sounds. Then about reshade, how to re install reshade is extract and copy these things and go to your shard PS4 folder and paste it here. So I've already pasted here, so I will not do that. And then go back, go to your game folder, and then install in dynamic shadows. So you need to copy the map folder, go to DVD, and then place here. So the map folder content will be replaced. Then for gray screen fix. So do, doing this gray screen fix, you need to go to the param folder, and then you need to go to like this one, game param. So and on this one, I think this is the one. Draw param. So keep the default ones and then delete all the one and then copy this and paste it here in the draw param folder. <coughs> so that's how you we install the gray screen fix. And then for this, you can copy to draw param here again. For this yarnam unfiltered and no FXA. So like this, we will install the mods. Now I will show you how it is working. So I've already uh, added all the fixes and installed here. So you can see. So I'm using these patches and all, like the skip intro, disable chromatic aberration, and then disable motion blur, 60 FPS with delta time. That I'm using, but 
you can use 30 fps fix and then resolution patch 720d and then i'm saving it and i'm closing and i will show you this one so i'm using 720 for my 3070 ti and ryzen 5 5600x so let's see how it is working so you see the colors are different because i'm using that reshade that's why so if we change some things here you will see how it is changing so i can use accordingly what what i am liking and then so like we can disable bloom keep this and then so whatever you like accordingly you can fix and then press the home button it will go away and then we will load it so right now i'm recording so the gameplay might be a little slow but most of the time it is good so so right now i'm not able to see the fps load let me Open MSI and Flabuna. Okay. So we can see the FPS now. So we are getting average of I think 38 to 39 FPS right now. So that is okay. I can understand I have less RAM and I have not cleaned my PC from a long time. <laughs> that is me. That is also a reason I guess. So let's kill this guy. Yeah, he's dead. So we have some little issues here, here and there. But I have, I have like the team is already working. So the Shard PS4 team. So I think soon it will be very, very soon it will be playable completely. Oh, anyways, so this guy has a shield, so I will disable that thing, right, this. this one. So, I will disable and show you without reshade how it is. You can see how it is. It looks like this. And I guess there are a lot of enemies in front. We can kill them. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now this guy has. Like that. Oh, this guy has something. Oh, blood boy. Then we will go here. Let's kill him. Bye bye. Oh, oh shit. Let's go back. I think there are a lot of people there. Oh, this guy has a gun. Let's kill him. So, this is my first time playing this game. So, I've never tried this game. In... Let's go here. Blow this guy. Cursed, please. He said, "You are cursed, and I am cursed." So I am getting sixteen FPS here, a little bit less, I guess. Oh shit! So, so these are the mods. So we'll try. Okay, the game crashed. 